Station, this is Houston. Are you ready for the event? And Houston, this is Station. I'm ready for the event. European Space Agency, this is Mission Control Houston. Please call Station for a voice check. Hello, Carmen. I read you loud and clear. How me? Hello, Matthias. Vielen Dank. Thank you, Matthias. Wir hören dich Hello. sehr gut. Schön, dass du heute Zeit well. genommen hast. Wir haben so happy heute you have found time today um to Welt, speak to us. Uh, we have a, a hands-around-the-world call today uh, that uh, children have organized and they're turned into you. Uh, and from Opa Pfaffenhofen uh, uh, with Sina, uh, uh, Lina, uh, uh, a ch child reporter. And I would suggest you uh, get going now. Thank you, Carmen. Greetings. Uh, uh, greetings to Oberpfaffenhofen, to uh, Mission Control, and of course, greetings to all the, the schools uh, turned in this morning and who have shown interest in uh, space travel. I'm happy to, uh, you can be with me at uh, the ISS with me today, and um, I especially want to uh, thank the children who made such wonderful pictures uh, for me, which I took up here with me, and I'm going to show them to you. Okay, so you're going to see uh, weightlessness, and you can see how my microphone is flo floating, and you can see I'm going to get a little bit closer. These are all pictures you made for me. And this is really fantastic. And sometimes I let them float around here. It's not just a beautiful a present, but uh, that, that shows that you're thinking of me. But I can also show you how this chain uh, is uh, uh, floating and uh, dancing. And uh, sometimes I even have a competition with it. And uh, children uh, hand in hand around the world uh, is, uh, is the reason we're doing this. Uh, and we do experiments up here because weightlessness uh, makes uh, experiments possible up here that are not possible on Earth. Uh, we, uh, we develop new materials that are very important for uh, physics, for uh, bio biology. And next to me, what's uh, glowing here is uh, a, a greenhouse where we're growing plants, and we can uh, see how they grow, the plants grow in weightlessness. And what's especially exciting is uh, this uh, uh, finding new products and uh, new knowledge for our life on Earth. And uh, there's even a lot more. And I'm going to create a little bit of a mess here. Oh, a lot of you might think there's a lot of a mess up, a bit of a mess up here already. And this weightlessness, this, I, this ISS uh, shows that shows that cooperation uh, shows how we can work together. And there, there are many people from many countries who have uh, worked on this, and it shows that people can work together peacefully and that we as humans can achieve a lot more if we work together uh, uh, for, uh, for progress and innovation. And I'm so happy that, that, that you children have uh, shown this hand in hand, hand in hand around the world, how this illustrates it. Exactly. Hello. Uh, Matthias, he has seen, uh, thanks for your impressive words. I'm so happy you're with us this, today. Of course, we have uh, several uh, school classes who are listening to you, uh, who are part of this hand in hand around the world. Uh, and here we have a child reporter. Uh, we have Alice, uh, our little reporter. And now, Alice, go on and Hello, Ask your question. Hello, Herr Maurer. Yeah, this is your first trip, uh, first trip to space. What uh, 
presses to you, uh, Mouse. Hello, uh, Alice. I'm so happy that you are a child reporter, that, that you're brave enough to ask questions, and asking questions is so important. That's the first step to gaining knowledge. Uh, what, I'm, what I miss most of all up here is uh, uh, fresh fruit, fresh uh, fruit. And ironically, we have, uh, we have, we've grown crests. Uh, it's but uh, but we've sent it. We're sending it home to the scientists, and we can't eat it up here. But I miss uh, walking through the forest and breathing fresh air and jumping in the water like in a swimming pool. We don't even have a shower up here. So these are the basic things you know from uh, childhood on that we that we miss, uh, that we take for granted, and that we miss up here. Thank you very much for your uh, answer. Wait, this is, we're going to the uh, uh, to the first classroom in uh, your uh, home area of Saarland at Victoria Pütlingen. Go, it's your turn. Hello, Herr Maurer. Um, this is the elementary school, Victoria Pütlingen. What do you recognize when you look out the window? Ganz, ganz liebe Grüße in Saarland, ganz liebe Grüße Greetings to you in Saarling and, and uh, at Pittlingen School. When I look down, look down at Earth, I see a super, super beautiful planet. And sometimes in the morning, I'm uh, tired in the morning. That, that's because I looked out the window too much at night. I see a beautiful planet. I see, I don't see countries. I see the ocean. I see, and, uh, and I see big cities at night. And then I look down with my camera. And, and if I uh, can magnify the, uh, the, the my vision with the, the camera, then and I look at the big cities, and and it arouses all kinds of emotions in me. And uh, going around the Earth every 90 minutes, I, I realize uh, it's, it's really quite small if we can go around in 90 minutes. And, and everything is, it shows me that uh, everything is connected and that, I, uh, that you can just forget about the, uh, the problems that we focus on on Earth. And sometimes when I see the uh, oceans and, and sometimes over the rainforest, uh, I see the, the clouds of smoke, and uh, I, that, that makes me sad, and that I see that, that it's, the rainforest is being destroyed because it uh, creates fresh air. Uh, it creates fresh air, and if we destroy the rainforest, then it destroys the future for children. And that's, uh, of course, what we don't want. Thank you, Ma Matthias. Uh, we're going to go to Karl Marx School in Bremerhaven. Your question. At what age did you know you wanted to become an astronaut? Yes, in my case, um, it wasn't really a childhood dream. I thought it was exciting uh, to see other astronauts. I, I, I thought, well, they must be supermen that they go up there. And now I know that if I can do it, any uh, any child can do it, And because I'm a perfectly normal person. You just have to be to, to know what what you want to achieve in life, and then you have to work toward that. And uh, this astronaut dream really only began for me when I was an adult. Uh, and I, I looked at uh, what astronauts did, and uh, and of course now I know it's 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 we have to be technicians, uh, we have to be scientists, we have to build things up here, we have uh, work to work with international teams, and we have to speak different languages. Uh, and so I, that sounded like fun, and I uh, I applied, and I was totally excited to be chosen. So now we have a question from the school at the Wuppa in Leverkusen. Uh, why does uh, water 
uh, float in a spherical shape. Oh, bravo. I'm so glad that somebody finally asked this question. And I got ready for it because it's a wonderful thing to demonstrate. I'm going to make even more of a mess now. Oh, I do have a towel here. So, OK, I'm going to show you the water in front of the camera. When the water comes out, Yes, so it becomes uh, a sphere, so that the the sphere doesn't uh, doesn't cause any damage here. I'm going to drink it very quickly, and this sphere and it, the 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 sphere is the the uh, uh, shape with the least surface. And if I, uh, I can pack a lot into a sphere without, uh, th and that's why the, uh, a, a balloon uh, uh, round, and that's why all the planets have this spherical form, because uh, you get a lot of mass without a lot of uh, surface. And you have surface tension, and that's something that we look at up here. Because the uh, at, on Earth it, it's uh, it's not so uh, not so obvious, but up here we can study the physical and chemical reactions. One thing is that if we want to uh, solder something, and you can see how a, a, a liquid comes and contact with the surface. And I can show you by putting the drop of water on my skin. I have to see. I'm going to manage this chaos. So, so I have, I can make it wobble back and forth. OK, I, there's still a little edge on the corner, and it doesn't actually fall down. And this corner here, if we want to solder something or want to lacquer something, we have to make sure that there's a very little angle. So, um, so we want, uh, if we have, uh, if we're, uh, if we're painting something uh, in a house, that the this angle has to be really large. Thank you, super. Thank you, and we're going to go on to the Hinsbeck School in Essen completely. Is in Weltraum or in the ISS gefahren? And what passiert with what uh, what happens if the ISS is uh, damaged? Well, of course, we're in space and something can go wrong. Yeah, we can't exactly just uh, open the door and go outside, outside because of the vacuum. So that we have we have to pay attention that uh, our, our uh, spacecraft is completely sealed. And initially, uh, we didn't think about what we would uh, do with old rocket pieces. And we thought, well, that nothing, you know, they were finished. And now we we realize that all these uh, this debris uh, is up here, and it could uh, collide with us, and that would be a major problem. So sometimes we have to uh, make a um, evasive maneuver, and you can't see it with the, the, the your bare eyes. Uh, um, uh, but for, on Earth, there are telescopes uh, and radar that can help uh, scientists see where this is, and that and the technicians uh, can guide us to avoid these things. And and a more, much more important uh, solution, uh, we have to. Uh, avoid uh, debris and trash. We can't just throw it on Earth. We can't just throw it in the water or on on the street. And uh, this will uh, will influence our life. And so up here too, we have to find a solution on how we avoid uh, uh, rocket debris and clean up the old debris, so that in future astronauts can safely come into space. The next question is from the Realschule Karl Wallbach.
Den ersten Teil der Frage habe ich verstanden. Ja. Wie fühlt es sich an, yes. wenn man auf der ISS ankommt? Den zweiten Teil. Oh, okay, ich okay. I understood the uh, second question. Um, I understood the second part. Yeah. But, Carmen, can you help me? Yeah. Ich Carmen, can you help me? I, I, uh, I didn't get it clear. Wie fühlt es sich an, yes. wenn man auf der ISS How does it feel to arrive uh, when you arrive at the ISS and fulfill your, your life stream? Sehr gut, sehr gut. Very good. Uh, also, ich so, sehr, sehr lange für diesen Traum gearbeitet. I have I worked for a very long time to achieve this dream, and then there were lows and, and highs in between, and there were moments, and I thought, ah, maybe it just wasn't meant to be, and I'll just have to give up on this dream. But I'm a person uh, who uh, always tries to achieve my objectives, and I try not to give up when I run into problems. And when I arrived up here, and, uh, uh, when I arrived, uh, the others said it's a good thing that uh, I had, uh, had ears because my grin was so big that uh, it would have my head would have the top of my head would have come off. And I realized this dream over and over every day. And I look outside. And I, at night before I go to sleep, I look outside. I have to pinch myself. Uh, and I, I, it's hard to believe for me that I'm actually up here. And if you have dreams, I can only encourage all of you to, to work hard for your dream. Uh, maybe your dreams won't all come true, but if you have no dreams at all, that really will be very sad. Now we have to hurry a little bit. OK, there are two more questions. Uh, we have the school of uh, at Schwembach in Erfurt. Hello, Matthias. Greetings, uh, greetings from Erfurt. How does it feel? How does it feel to float in weightlessness? Hey, greetings to Erfurt. I can only say to float is just fantastic. At night before I go to sleep, I, I, I uh, sit in the Columbus module that because I sleep in the back. I just hang back there, and it's so relaxing. It's it's hard to describe. You can't imagine. It's like hanging in the water without being wet, and you 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 lie down much better even than on a waterbed. It's relaxing. It's, you're free as a bird. OK, okay. I can do a backflip that normally only children can do. Uh, I, but uh, this one wasn't perfect. But uh, uh, if, if no one is watching, then I can do a better job. The last one is from the Regenbogenschule Altheim in Münster. I, I'm Philip, and I want to know uh, how you spent Christmas and New Year's on the ISS. Oh, well, at Christmas, we uh, we ate delicious food together. Uh, we, had, uh, we had an artificial tree. We exchanged gifts. And, and it, would, uh, it was upside down. And we had and we uh, hung up uh, stockings. Uh, and we attached it all so that and we, we put gifts in uh, uh, in these stockings. And it was really nice. And it was there were nice surprises. Of course, they were small because we couldn't take too much here. And for New Year's, we uh, celebrated and uh, danced. And uh, you can imagine in zero gravity dancing. It was a wild party. And the last question is from Alice. What's your favorite experiment on the ISS? Can you repeat that, Alice, please? Was ist denn Ihr Lieblingsexperiment is auf der ISS? Your favorite experiment on the ISS. Super, habe ich verstanden. So, okay. Manchmal kommt das hier I understand. Sometimes it's I think we're traveling too fast. Uh, sometimes it's hard to hear. My favorite. I have many different experiment favorite experiments. But I'm a scientist, and I want to uh, develop uh, new materials that will be used uh, and in the years to come. And so we 
melt different uh, metals out here. And there's one experiment where I have to mix uh, cement. And you think that's uh, that sounds like a crazy idea. But we're not going to build a, a house up here, but it's an experiment that's going to contribute to uh, our uh, our uh, ability to uh, may uh, make uh, something less damaging to the environment because uh, cement use, uses uh, uh, pr produces CO2, and so so we are able to optimize this and send our uh, uh, results down, and so. Uh, in hopes that uh, in creating a, a cement that we can uh, uh, create without creating too much CO2. Uh, there's an experiment I have done here that probably oh as as someone as someone who's a, a, a bricklayer uh, with, with a name like mine as bricklayer uh, that's that would uh, come to mind right away thank you so much for your answers that was really exciting and it's and speaking live with an astronaut who is in space I suggest uh, that at the last uh, that, uh, everyone together uh, wishes you uh, safe flight all together I think I think Matthias could have known that without it. <laughs> Yeah, it's crazy. This was our in-flight call uh, together with Hand in Hand Around the World. We uh, thank the, uh, our colleagues at uh, NASA, ESA, and the German uh, Control Center, also the, the students, uh, the, the teachers, and of course, uh, uh, Matthias Maurer. Uh, and Thank you for uh, uh, people in Houston. We don't want to forget them. And Matthias is, uh, is yeah, is looking at, at the, the uh, strip of paper. But um, now you get to roll up all those uh, pictures. Bye. Uh, greetings from the ISS. This is this is my job for the next uh, few minutes to uh, roll all this up again. Yes, yes, because I want to take good care of this and bring it back uh, in one piece and be able to show it to many children. It's a great message. Thank you so much to all the children who uh, participated. Bye. I was so happy to do this. Station, this is Houston ACR. And Thank Houston you. Station. That concludes the event. Thank you to all participants from ESA, Station. We are now resuming operational audio communications.